Yo, 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 they interviewed each other. All right, he interviewed you know, her right. live. So we about to. Kevin Sanders be dragging them. Yeah, he do. He be straight he sometimes, though. Right? He be straight sometimes, but he, he be, be going too some far. Points. But he yeah. just, it's how he's saying it, bro. It be he sometimes. Just, sometimes he, he an image. He an image uh, counselor or coach or something. So he always oh. talk about people's image. And he's talking to one girl, and he's like, "See how that thing? He like, see how your, your smoke detector keep going off in the back?" And she's like, "What? Well, like, eh? Yeah, there it go." And then she's talking, he's like, there it goes again. And this is when I'm like, what type yeah, of crazy? He's just giving a run yo. around the job. Hey. Let's go, let's see. I heard it was blood clots and shit. I'm, I'm old. Are we making it work on over there? So. Okay. Let, let me tell you. You see, let me tell you why I must, I love the universe and I am a firm believer of the universe. Okay. Go. Listen, I wanted to get on and talk to you for a very long time. Is that right? That's very right. What we got? So I so want to know. crazy that they talk to each other? What you got to, you know, let's let's have this real talk. Let's he have this real talk. Kevin um, because I you. know a lot of times know, when people like... speak to you, they, it's like they trying to be funny. Mm hmm and and I feel and I feel like if a, if if you call somebody trying to be funny, yes, I think I feel if you try if you call somebody trying to be funny, then don't be mad at what you get. If you right. call somebody, if you call somebody that and, you know, and you're really trying to you know sincerely ask questions or get information or or chat, then that's different. So I want to talk to you. Okay, what are we talking about? Well, what what do you rate me? <laughs> Is that what we're starting off with? Yeah. Do you, you think the women? Do you think the men rate women? No, I thought because that isn't that what you do. <sighs> it's. What have you seen in my content? Have you seen? Have you just seen like the clips? Yeah. I, well, I think I always see oh. people calling you. And they and then you and you tell them you ain't no such and such. You lying to yourself. You ain't this. You what, know, I, so I, what I typically don't do is I don't typically rate people. I ask oh. them if they rate themselves. I usually oh. ask these questions. So let's start it that way. Yeah. Right, how tall are you? I'm five three. Dress size. My dress size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, my dress size. That's a good question. Um, oh, my dress off. I, I guess a four. All right. And on a scale from one to ten, can you settle? What would you rank yourself? Fresh face out of the show. <laughs> this is yeah. Eleven, son. That's how I always ask the question. Seven. Can you seven? That's why seven is the most common answer. Really? Wow. It's the default answer for most people because they don't want to go too high, they don't want to go too low. Uh, well, no, um, it ain't a default answer for me. Well, I would, let's see. Damn, seven. I would give you a nine. Give I would give you a nine. nine because you have the facial symmetry and you get additional points for eyes. Full lips. See, it, it's not. It's, it's, I'm an actual <laughs> image consultant. Never and thought of that. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure you you, you deal with a lot of people who take your pictures and stuff and so forth. You have I a symmetrical face, and so it's much more based upon facial symmetry. It's not based on European beauty standards or anything like that. It's much more based upon what babies, animals, human beings have evolved to find attractive. Wow. You get and you get additional points because. We have evolved to find more slanted eyes. Some are attractive, especially when they're not on Asian. Wow. That's real. That's real. Wow. Right. But that, 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 that's not what gets. That's not what gets translated. Most of the time, people take my clips oh, and oh, cut it down. Hey, he, 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 he right. Why do you think? 
When you went, think about it. He said, slant his eyes, right? Think about when niggas take a picture and you do this or some shit like this. <laughs> that's you know that's what I'm that saying? light skin. That's that light skin. Job. Yeah, but like you slanting your shit. And they be yeah. like, or say you do it by mistake. Yeah. They be like, oh, this nigga trying to look sexy for the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. Like, so he right. Like, yeah, that's, he that's right. crazy. He right. Let's get right out of point. Yeah, let's get. Man, he's talking about what? Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Calling his boy. <laughs> <laughs> boy Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something that's gonna make a viral moment. It's gonna start a conversation. Take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anything else that I do? I saw one time when you checked this lady for, I think, I guess it was a white lady or a Hispanic lady, and you was like, oh, you're not gonna come on this show and talk down on black women. That's what the fuck you're not gonna do. Yeah. And so again, that was a clip. I didn't, I didn't see the context really, but. Well, I get, a, I get a rap of hating black women. Uh, and it's far from that. I mean, there are over 50 black women who report that they've gotten married as a result of watching my content. Really? It's on my, it's on my Instagram. I actually had a young sister uh, just post up saying, hey, as a result of you, I snatched the ring. I just actually posted a brother who was about to move to the Dominican Republic and he found his wife in my Facebook group. Like 12 couples have gotten married in there. But that stuff doesn't get publicized. Well, mm -hmm. but when I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about men and women, but because I'm black, I'm talking about us. Mm -hmm. And at right. the time, I would bring stuff in, and then a lot of times sisters would say, well, men, when they get to a certain level, they only want white women or this or that. Um, so I, I, I let women from other races come in. I'm like, okay, well, then, can you learn anything from them? What, what would you teach them? And... History is filled with almost. Now look, think about it. if you grew up and that's all you seen is like white women or you know, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like think when we was out on the road, me and Mike, mm -hmm. all we seen is a lot of white women. You right. Know? So as a while, we was like, I, I ain't gonna lie. You know, yeah, it happens yeah, with yeah. everybody. You know? around, yeah. yeah. So if you're around a lot of black women. That's why they say travel the world because you see all type of people. Yeah. You'll find who you who you who you really I mean. who you really attracted to. That you've yeah. been around every, you know, right. different type of person. I ain't thinking that. Y'all. Yeah, because that's look. You really just be attracted to what's left around you. Yeah, because you in one map. You in one part of the yeah. map. <laughs> and if it's dominantly black or white, that's who you're going to be attracted. That's who you're going to end up probably getting with or you might be like, I'm just going to date somewhere else. Uh-huh. The one woman came in and she thought she was going to do what I did to black women. Mm -hmm. like, oh, 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 wait, wait. Now, I, we can talk this way. But Karen, you sit your ass down over there. Because I don't play that. <laughs> you know, I, I not <laughs> the, the spike <laughs> popular <laughs> opinion, I love my mother, I love my daughter. But we do have to have a, a family conversation. And it's what's starting to happen more is actually we're starting to have more conversations about this. It ain't comfortable. But uh, we're starting to see progress. Well, let me ask you this just outright then. Mm -hmm. Why why do successful black men stay outside of the race? I think it's just um, to be that. Well, I'm going to say this. When I look at men, I look at, I split them up. Guys that I consider to be in the industry, music, entertainment, athletics, and then guys on the business side. Mm -hmm. Business right. side, because I come from that side. But, um, more often than not, black men want to be with black women. Right. Mm -hmm. Eighty-five percent of black Facts. men are married to black women. Talk oh. that talk. When I, Facts. When I have my guy, guys come to me, even after they got themselves together, like Dennis Furley, the guy who just moved, he found his black wife in my group. Black right. men want to. We want to be with them. The problem is, let's be honest. In yes. my lifetime, we weren't really raised to learn how to get along with one another. We can kick it, we can hook up, yeah. and we can, right. can we work together long term. Right. And uh, uh, I mean, you're married now, right? Okay, yeah. marriage is a relationship is a skill set. It's different than dating in short term. We really want. <laughs> <Duh. Duh. laughs> Like, hey, look, he asked her that. She was looking like, yeah, but I ain't want to reveal that yet. That's yeah, how she was looking. Right. She was more looking like, 
Dang, I was trying to refit out my new album. Right. She was like, oh, I thought she was already married, though. I thought we all knew that. We just knew she got married. We ain't know if she really was married. You know, that's she why never. We do the press run first, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. That's why, yeah. No, yeah, no. He, he married right. That's he asked, he that, he asked that you that behind the uh, camera question. Uh, that's like J. Cole. They was like, You married? He's like, Oh, he say something. Caught that Stop nigga. acting. Caught that nigga yeah. for real because he be on songs like, he like he's cheating. Because like, he, he was cheating. I think he like, you know. Single. Yeah. He's not. This nigga got a whole. Son and wife at the house. Hey, fuck, man. Look, that just shows you. That's funny though. Yeah, she was just like, yeah, I'm thinking like, damn, she goes. Some people might tell you that she being uh, she uncomfortable. I think she just didn't want to announce it officially until you right album. Of That's what it, that gotta be what it is. She's looking like, dang. Go ahead, she on album like Kevin Samuel you said. You heard what he said. Just like Kevin Samuel, I'm married to Daniel. Right. Nah, she's good. <laughs> Daniel's son. Sorry, man. Talk that kind of stuff is what successful people who are doing good in their professional life want to fail in their personal life. And in the black community in particular, when we fail in our personal lives, we pay a huge penalty because so few of us get married. It's almost like we like to see people's marriages fall, but we need more of those things in order to build whatever we're going to be because. Um, they, people may not, like, may not like my method, but I want to see more black men who want black wives get with black women. And that's the outcome of giving. It ain't pretty, right? Sometimes it ain't pretty. Can I say something? Can I say something real quick? Black women, can y'all, can y'all, can we, can we stop, stop talking about if these niggas want us or not? Can we stop posting all day on TikTok? Because I, I re I newly went to TikTok and I and I just could, kept seeing this. Mm -hmm. Black women, can we stop talking about if black men, if these successful black men want us or not? Right. Like, can we just focus on us and we be successful and then we go out there and we decide who the fuck we want? Because right. what I've been seeing is, I feel like I've been seeing men using that as an opportunity because they they've been hurt and and somebody done when symptoms done, and they've been using it as a as a way to come out and lash out and poke fun at black women and use it as a way to feel like they somebody or they something or yeah, so yeah. so for all you niggas that's doing that on TikTok whatever the fuck y'all at eat a dick go away somebody gives a shit about you right. and I want Talk black women talk. to stop fucking posting about whether or not y'all 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 want black women or not okay mm -hmm. well i want black women just to focus on themselves be successful and then you go out there and you decide the trajectory of your life period okay. well, here's, 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 here's talk hey Damn. i'm antonio romero montero Guinness World Record for the largest right. video game collection in the world and i'd like to invite you to join to, like, skip this. there's a lot of hurt on both sides and, and a lot of, and especially in the black community, we don't really do a lot. Of it's a lot of hurt on both sides of every community, man. Yeah, it tired is. of that. I'm so tired. Right, look. Like, Charles, you like yeah, you nigga, you to look. I'm tired. <laughs> you know, think about like they, we Them black. Them boys are hurt. Yeah. This is this is the, this is what we was talking about. We always addressing shit. This is the results of us addressing this. Yeah. Shit. We both black. We both black, so we like it's hurts and all. Other in communities don't talk. You they, feel me? Yeah, it them is. boys like hurt. It is. Yeah. But where the fuck is they? Where are they at? They don't talk about. Where it. they speaking? Yeah. We the only people that be open to talk about anything. Yeah. They not open to talk about nothing. They don't want to say shit. But we. They want to talk about <laughs> fake yeah, acting, Hollywood, talking that John. big shit, little dude. You know we don't miss shit. Hey, well, yeah, well, he's a pretty nice dude. That shit. That's how pretty nice dude. Hurt like be, a motherfucker yeah, on this side. side. He over here having a pink in the face to Well, you know, I, 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 I. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just lying. 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 He 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 lying. That we want to deal with. Right, that's real. And marriage and relationships are not for everybody. And I'm just trying to, no. ultimately, I ask people, what do you want? 
Right. What do you want? Right. And what are you prepared to do to get what you want? And are you willing to pay that cost? It's really the conversation. It always gets kind of whittled down. But at the end of the day, what we are seeing is, you know, especially if you're under 30, it, it's harder for guys today under 30 than it was from 50 years ago because you can't take care of a family on our high school or, or just coming out. So they're at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and I, rec I just had men's week. And I recommend, I told guys, look, while you're under 30, work, work, work on getting yourself together because like it or not, you're really not in a position like like you should be to be able to work with, lead, do anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and you right. see the hate, not the hate, but the hurt on both sides because a lot of times people will use these talking points to go at and poke women over here. Right. But that's not what's going on right now. This year we are, we're past the sound. I mean, we still laugh. We still we still do all that stuff. We're talking about self awareness. Right. Right. Um, and, and moving the needle. I'm be in LA tomorrow, talking with uh, right. a, a famous sexologist, a womanist, feminist, to right. talk about things that I may not, that people on my side may not understand to further open the conversation up. Because that's what we have to get to. We got to end up for well, whoever want to be involved with whoever. We got to end up having a better conversation because while we're separate fighting, everybody else just eats off of us. That's right. That's really what that looks like. So. Let's go! That was real shit, bro. That, that he used this platform real, well, bro. didn't he? He was he like, did. I see I'm on a Nikki platform. I'm about to say what I got to say. Yeah. He, he executed that. Shout out to that. He, I'm getting more Shout out to Kevin boy, Sanders. Man. It's not really, it's not I never liked him at first, man. Thing, man. It's not necessarily lie. he uh do that. It's not necessarily like he, you know, a bad person or whatever. No, I just not agree on the with him. side. Or the coin. coin. Or I didn't agree with him at first. I because I yeah, off the clips I, I seen, seen. Yeah, I seen him clip. And is it crazy? Because he yeah. was like, What part of the contents you seen of me? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And he really be he, he, he gave me. He a be eating point. though. He be writing about a lot of stuff though. Yeah, he know what he doing. Yeah. You know? He for sure know what he's doing. That's dope. We man. still laugh, but it was more about self awareness. Yeah, I actually got a book coming out. You right know, that's now. coming, boy. <laughs> yeah. You know that's and I got a, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, this is a, got a book coming out, and this it's going to be called. Did you know? He trying to get out all his sauce on here real quick. Mixtape drop now. Right. Mixtape. <laughs> but we gonna leave it off right here. Part two coming soon. Bu podcast. Nick Benaj, Kevin Samuel. You don't get nobody else. You went out. Big boy. <laughs>